It's Big Rich with Hustle Boss. Uh, I know you've been uh, calling Tank out, but would you want to see Lomachenko later down in your future? Of course, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a fight that I would love to have because, you know, Lomachenko is the best, uh, the best fighter uh, in the division right now. So, of course, I would love to fight him. Uh, yeah, he had some trouble with Luke Campbell, and I, I noticed that. And, uh, but he shows grit and what, and what a champion means, so it would be an honor to fight him and just to, to share the ring with him. So do you think uh, with Tank, you yeah. think Tank, you think that fight is coming in the future? Or, or I, I feel you like think that, Mayweather's going to hold it off for another year I, or two? I feel like that, that fight, that fight is, it, is, it should happen. You know, for the fans and everybody, everybody would want to see it. I know boxing experts, you know, they put it down like, Ryan, you ain't ready, this, that. And you know what, maybe in, in two years the, 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 the opinions will change. I will grow more into a man. But as of right now, I feel like I would even give a good fight to Javante Davis. But if it doesn't happen now, I'm okay with it happening in two years. And Do you think they should put you all in a Super 6, something like everybody? Nah. So everybody I, fight I, each other? I would want to build it up into like some crazy attraction, like not just a, like a tournament in a way. I want to build it up crazy. Because I know that's what the fans want. They want it to be hyped up. Like, it's fun. Like I remember watching like fights like Oscar and Mayweather at the 24-7. That's what I... That's what got me. That's what sold me. I was like, oh shit, I want to watch this. Like, I love when Mayweather would talk shit, and I love when Oscar would be like, oh, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna get him for talking shit. Like, that just hyped me up. So, as a kid, if I felt that way, I know kids are gonna feel that way if they start seeing, like, you know. Uh, 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 your video. We love your video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they see the hype around it, you know, it's right. fun. You know, that's that's what that's what entertainment's about. You know. Right. Ryan, in, in a previous tweet, you tweeted that. I'm just, I'm just excited to be in the best fights, you know, win and lose, you know, I'm just ready to show everybody that I can get up there with red guys with less of the shots, shit, they hit me, they hit me, it's all good, close range, I'm just, you know, 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 I
on a similar path. Uh, you know, he just be doing his own thing too. You know, he, he goes to the gym a separate time sometimes, and uh, he does his thing. And I like to go to the gym on my own time too. We don't like training, you know, with a lot of people. I train by myself, and so does he. So I made sure that you know Andy and everybody understood that I like my own time as well. So I don't like training side by side with anybody. Just because it just doesn't help. Me. What's, the, like, what's the best advice you can give me? You know, I can always say that he's always gave me. Uh, he's always showed me. You know, it's not so much advice because obviously there's a language barrier, but it's just when you see something, it comes out way better. You can it better. Like, Taking in better. So I see that no matter what, he's worked hard. No matter how much money he got, I mean, he comes in with all the fancy cars, but like, he shows up to the gym, he grinds, he, he sweats, he gets in the ring, and does like seven, eight rounds of bar, like every day. So it's like, that's, that's the best advice I can have. Right, right.